Now we are going to see how to create the testimonial section with the help of slideshow component. Let's get into the video. Coming to the design, we have a testimonial section. So first let's create a section wrap and inside it a container wrap with a max width 1200 pixel. And then we will create a wrap for the slideshow and let's embed the slideshow component inside it. And coming to the design, we have a background image and inside it we have an image of the customer let's make it in a wrap and in another wrap let's embed the code the name of the customer and his review now we have understand the design of the testimonial let's get into the framework i'm creating a section container with max with 1200 now again inside it i'm creating a frame for the slideshow wrap now to embed the slideshow I'm going to insert. I'm searching for slideshow. Let's drag and insert inside this. Now make the slideshow with to fill and hide to fill. So we have embedded the slideshow. Now we need to add the content inside this slideshow. For that, outside of this breakpoint, I'm creating a frame. And again, inside it, we need to create this design. So let's create another wrap. Let's make it as container. Now we need to add this image. So let's create the frame. Let's understand the size that is 200. So let's make the width and height to 200. And for the radius, 100%. Let's add the image. So we bring the image. Next, we need to add the coat with 45 pixel so let's create a frame with 45 it's in horizontal so let's make it as vertical and it should be in the center this is for coat let's add the image and we have the name and a review so i'm copying one of the text and bringing it here let's make it to center then we need to add the paragraph i'm copying one of the paragraph and bringing it under the container. Let's copy this text and paste it here. Let's make it to align center. Now we need to make this para title and code under the wrap. So I'm using control alt enter to create a wrap. Let's make it to fill and fit. And coming to this container, we have a fixed height. So let's make it to fit content. Fine. Now let's see the radius of this wrap. That is approximately 30 so let's make it as 30 now we need to add the image so let me add the image so we have added the image and we need a spacing between these two so going to the container let's give the gap to 30 okay it's look great now let's create the padding value for the top and bottom and let's make the height to fit content and again we need appropriate spacing for this content so I'm choosing this wrap and let's make it as yes so it looks good so in order to replicate this design for another I'm duplicating it and I'm changing the image so now it's time to include these two inside the component so I'm choosing this slideshow under the content I can add by choosing this Now we need to increase the height. So it seems good. And we doesn't need this dotter. So in order to change, I'm going under the dots. And in the show, I'm choosing no. To know more about the slideshow component, other components and much more, you can learn from my upcoming framework beginner friendly course. Check the link in the description below to know more details. Coming to the testimony section, let me give the top and bottom padding value to 140 and for the bottom 140. Let's check how it's working from the preview. Okay, it's working fine, but I need to change this content. Let me preview this. Yes, it's working properly. 
so you all understand how to create the testimonial section by using the slideshow component. You can always walk through by checking out my other videos in the Framer Beginner Tutorial playlist. Subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss anything. See you in the next section. I have uncovered detailed insight in my upcoming Beginner Framer friendly course. For additional information, check the link in the description below.